Malaria is a vector-borne disease transmitted from the female anopheal mosquitoes to humans. The five plasmodium parasites responsible for the disease are transmitted through the bites of infected mosquitoes. However, there is one that is most common, Plasmodium falciparum. Some individuals carry low concentrations of the parasite, leading to subclinical infections, which makes detection and eradication especially difficult. Malaria is a disease that has effects worldwide, with the World Health Organization reporting 219 million cases of malaria worldwide in 2018. The World Health Organization also listed malaria as the sixth highest cause of death in low-income countries as of 2016. Deaths resulting from malaria are mostly observed in vulnerable populations in sub-Saharan Africa. Children are especially vulnerable, with one child losing their life to malaria every two minutes. A major issue facing malaria detection is the circulation of HRP2 deletion parasites in sub-Saharan Africa, which effectively renders the current blood-based rapid diagnostic tests useless since they are dependent on this biomarker. As a result, there has been an increase in the false negative tests leading to children infected by P. falciparum parasites lacking the HRP2 gene being left untreated. Therefore, the World Health Organization has encouraged scientists to look into other possible target biomarkers for the P. falciparum parasite to detect carriage into human hosts. With funding from the Gates Foundation, Ding Yin Tao and colleagues at the University of Florida developed a saliva-based rapid test to address this exact issue. Their subsequent trial conducted in Cameroon, Zambia, and Sierra Leone tested saliva samples from adults and children alike in clinical and non-clinical settings to test the efficacy of the new diagnostic tool. The saliva-based RDT uses a saliva sample to detect the presence of PSSP17, a protein biomarker found in gametocytes, which is a cell found in P. falciparum whose role is to ease the transition between the human and mosquito. It accomplishes this by entering the bloodstream of the infected host, thereby enabling other mosquitoes who take a blood meal from the now-infected human to become a vector for the disease. As such, it ensures the transition of malaria from one host to the next. The PSSP17 marker is a female-specific gametocyte protein that is detectable in saliva samples of the infected individuals. The fact that it is a female-specific is beneficial as the biofluids of infected individuals contain more abundant amounts of female gametocytes than male gametocytes. The saliva is then tested using a lateral flow immunoassay strip, a technology that is also used in home pregnancy tests. If the strip shows a positive result, this illustrates the presence of a protein biomarker, and as a result, the presence of P. falciparum parasite. It is currently common clinical practice to test for malaria using a blood test, but this has drawbacks that reduce effectiveness, such as the inability to test for subclinical infections. Low concentrations of plasmodium falciparum can be missed by these blood tests. Only a few blood tests are even able to test for infections of 200 gametocytes per microliter of blood. However, subclinical infections typically only have 1 to 10 gametocytes per microliter of blood. Since subclinical infections can contribute to 80% of the infectious reservoir, countries that are nearing malaria elimination would have trouble identifying those carriers and would struggle to completely eliminate the disease. Furthermore, the blood-based RDT requires more infrastructure than the saliva-based RDT, such as mobile clinics and highly trained staff, and can lead to a higher risk of exposure to the parasite for patients and health workers. The saliva test simply requires the delivery of a spit sample into a tube, and can then therefore be conducted in less clinical settings, for example, schools, homes, and community centers. The researchers also propose a way of incorporating the tests to maximize impact while conserving funds. They suggest implementing the saliva-based RDT targeting PSSP17 with stamp-out, such as a malaria transmission blocking vaccine. This would create a more targeted immunization strategy that could lower the cost of the mass eradication malaria campaigns and help countries address the infectious reservoir issue. Since the year 2000, the number of deaths caused by malaria worldwide has thankfully plummeted by 60%, and half of the world's countries are certified malaria-free. In collaboration with the World Bank, foreign aid, domestic investment from affected countries, and the World Health Organization, the Gates Foundation hopes to make the dream of a malaria-free world a reality by 2040. The advent of new and affordable technology, such as the saliva-based RDT targeting PSSP17, will help turn these seemingly insurmountable feet into an achievable goal.